Hi guys, today we're going to react to Home Back by Ginger. I think this is the first time we have reacted to or are reacting to a music video by Ginger. All of what we reacted to so far was a live performance as a studio recording. This is amazing. I've said in the past episode, not of Ginger's, of another band, that it has a 90s feel to it. This has a 90s feel to it as well. I think what we were referring to was the uh, the TV screens. You know, yeah. the, that sort of cliche that's been used yeah. in a lot of clips. And then it comes on here as well. Yeah. Like, the oh, the setting is. as well. Also, there's uh, something that I don't usually hear in Ginger songs. There's a hint towards Rage Against the Machine. I can hear Rage Against the Machine influence. It's a bass. Yeah. It's in, the in bass. Yeah. 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 And, and, the, and yeah. something in the rhythm. And also their uh, uh, chord compositions or, or compositions with the guitar, it has a disturbing feel to it. It feels like a deliberate, disturbing element to it that's supposed to make you feel unease. And it's working. Well, we use the word disturbing. This whole thing is disturbing, um, you know, as far as the subject matter and the mm. way it looks and everything is is really mimicking that, which is excellent. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying even though, you know, that sort of 90s feel and that maybe not necessarily overuse of certain tropes i'm loving it it looks amazing it is kind of exciting to see them in a music video setup up till now we've only seen them live and this is freaking awesome yeah you know? tatiana sounds amazing as yeah. always the guys are doing their thing it does feel like there's a special something to do with the bass here so like eugene gets to uh kick it and it gives it that kind of what, what you said that is kind of reminiscent of uh, rage against the machine i i, I hear it I, I wasn't thinking about it at the time but as you mentioned it straight away i was like yeah that's what it is really really cool song dark as fuck yeah it's not a feel-good tune you don't yeah, no. it's supposed to, yeah although i have to say that we've covered songs from them that are darker in text but this is pretty dark <laughs>
they changed gears. Usually you say they changed gears from a slower pace to a harsher pace. This had the opposite. They changed gears to a slower pace. And this is the first time I've heard this particular type of voice coming from uh, Tatiana. She's using even a, even a cleaner voice here. As if she was a little girl, you know, hosting a tea party. And she used a sort of a, a more feminine sound voice. Yeah, I think because the sound altogether became like almost like a jazzy kind of sound. Yeah, yeah. And then what we got was Alice in Wonderland Tea Party if it was directed by Rob Zombie in a Rob Zombie yeah. horror film. Yeah, and influenced <laughs> by uh, by 1960s uh, settings with the whole time tunnel and uh, her uh, Princess Leia's hairdo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it felt it felt like that was the rabbit hole we were we were going into. That was like an yeah. Alice in Wonderland thing, but dark, dark as fudge. <laughs> Holy crap. That was freaking awesome. It's a different experience, uh, uh, Ginger. I don't know if all their video clips are like this, but <laughs> yeah. this hits hard, you know? Yeah. Not that their live ones didn't, but there's something... Obviously, it accentuates everything, you know, the visuals we, we got here. Yeah. That was fantastic. It yeah. looked very, very cool, as well as, you know, dark and soul-crushing. Yeah, my acute sixth sense is resonating at me that they're maybe talking about the Ukraine war. Mm. They're talking about, uh, yeah, 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 I think. Yeah, they talk, I thought this was just about Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> they, no? Yeah, they're not just talking about it. I think they're mourning their innocence and their what was maybe taken for granted freedom up to that point. So mourning that, their, their loss of innocence. Their loss of, sorry, their loss of innocence. It's been so long that their reality is so uncertain and they don't know how to contain everything that they see every day. Their house is being demolished. And they, that line is said, uh, this home is not our shelter anymore. She, I don't think they mean their actual homes. They mean their land. They, they have so much uncertainty about their future. They really don't know. And it's a terrible state to be in. It's also, uh, uh, I think, a play on words, which shelter bomb shelter yeah even um, if we're coming out alive it doesn't matter we're we already lost yeah. something i think we've touched on this in a previous reaction video to ginger where they were talking about something they left their homes to to tour to travel to whatever and i think this is when they're coming back i mean th this is what that line at the end is you know i came back home so i want my home back i think they came to see this so this has been the reality of their friends and family while they were away touring so anything they experienced was was from a distance yeah over the phone whatever um yeah. and now it's like they seeing, feel it you know yeah. seeing the, the carnage going back yeah. home not just the carnage even if it's the house is still standing but there's still sirens yeah. and bombs dropping yeah. around them and all of that yeah. happening yeah. our beds are cold it's called this basement floor so obviously they go down to the basement when there's a, a reality we're very familiar with uh because uh, it happens in israel as well yeah it's just the way that loss of innocence that you were talking about is a was a very very clever way of writing this song in the beginning it's like the questions are asked almost like a in a childlike fashion yeah you know it's like what is this is it, are, are those fireworks no yeah. no it's a military quirk is it yeah. a mermaid singing no, no, no this, yeah. this is a siren screaming yeah and then that other one what was it uh, is it an angel watching over us it's an air fighter making a fuss yeah. is it a unicorn galloping yeah. down the street soldiers no. yeah soldiers boots marching down your lane yeah. marching to the beat that yeah. is some strong ass shit just fantastic way of communicating these ideas you know that this is like like almost in, yeah. in a childlike fashion some some innocence naivety perhaps it's like a party no this is war this yeah is yeah war. Yeah, we know that they've revisited Ukraine and it's not how they left it. It's like they're describing, even if they're not children, the journey it takes for a person to process all these horrendous things. It takes time to process, oh, that the 
my land is being bombarded and, and the building that I saw yesterday standing is no longer standing. It takes time to really take that all in and, and really adjust to a new grim reality. And I think it's a, a few levels as well, because even within the Ukraine, um, I read, I think it was an interview with Tatiana. She's moved or the band has moved. They live in Kiev. So most of the war wasn't happening there. And then they went back home to visit family to whatever. They're all from, from I forgot the name, but it's a, a province in the Ukraine. So going from Kiev back home to see what has happened while they were gone must have been a bit of a shock to the system, even though they knew it was happening. Seeing it is another story, you know. It's, yeah. uh, just love the way they put this together. It starts off, my dear, do we have to go to sleep like that with a soothing cocktail and a hundred cigarettes? So drinking alcohol to forget, but to yeah. take the edge off smoking yeah. cigarettes stress and then it says morning greetings of a rooster are replaced with fire in the hole yeah the worst possible way to wake up knowing that you're about to be bombarded and and is and there's something to be said about if you're not there if you don't live that reality you can't judge even if you feel that you should you can't really judge you can't really say anything and have your opinion have a valid point absolutely Absolutely. Yeah. It's something that, that we're living because of what's happening in the Middle East, obviously, and people you know, from outside think they know what's happening, but they yeah. don't. Uh, people are forgetting that we've lived that reality ourselves where, where you, know, you have to yeah. go down to shelters and, and bombs dropping and all of that. And again, not wanting to make this a political thing on, on, on this show, but... Like, we do like, definitely yeah. no, but we do get exactly yeah. you know where they're coming from with firsthand experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah, no, this is this is very strong. Very dark subject matter, as you've said, and their style is connected to the level of, of darkness that needs to be expressed due to that uh, situation. There coming from Ginger, it's a it's a very uh, visceral experience. They make sure to try and make you feel what they feel. It's a testament to Tatiana's songwriting skills. That that too, yes. So dark, so glum and grim, and so good. I'm trying to imagine how it would sound like, how would people react to it if they listen to it 100 years from now? I think war will still be around, so people will get yeah, it. Yeah, it probably resonate in different minds and different situations, and it will be interesting to learn about history through a song like that. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me A Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you all for sticking with us. Thank you all for your time. When bands or musicians, whoever, artists do covers of, of other songs, I prefer to see a complete change. Yeah, as do um, I. To make it either better or different. Yeah. But... When certain bands do a cover that is, I guess, respectful of the original yeah. and very similar maybe to the original, but it's not made as a, as a cover, as a completely separate thing. Sometimes I really do enjoy those. In this particular moment when they perform a song, they are mm -hmm. uh, stepping into the spotlight as a cover band for those five minutes of the song. Thank you very much, guys. We appreciate you more than you know. Without you, there would be no show. So please keep coming back. We'll be here in a couple of days with a new episode. And we hope to see you all then. Bye for now. Bye, guys.